Hello and welcome to part 21 of my Great Britain Empire Total War Let's Play. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologise for the delay between the last two parts. They were recorded on the same day, but unfortunately real life and work got in the way in the lead up to Christmas. Um, obviously since Christmas the UK has gone back into lockdown, so I'm hoping to increase the amount of videos I do produce, but again, I may not, it depends on what's going on with what I'm doing at home and things like that. But yes, anyway, this is my first video in the after Christmas period. I uh, hope you all had a good Christmas if you celebrate it, if not, I just, obviously different religions, different faiths, everything, I mean, I'm not religious myself, but again, I do celebrate Christmas because I live in, not just the fact that I live in a Christian country being from England, but it's a tradition in that you're brought up with, generally speaking, as an English person. Yeah, anyway. At the end of last episode, we took Stockholm in Sweden. In fact, I think we've held it a few turns now. We're in the middle of um, building up a small army here. A new army. Finland has rebelled. We have an army that will be taking that next turn. Uh, Denmark has rebelled against them and been taken back by the Danes. We'll be leaving that there as a buffer. We do not need it. Um, France has pushed quite deep into Poland itself. So we are now going to, with that third army that we're going to build up, sail down into probably the port here at Courland and take Courland and hopefully bring one of these armies across quite quickly. That's here, and the other one is heading towards Karelia. Kare How do you pronounce that? My Russian is rubbish, sorry. <laughs> but I know that's Petrovsky. Shalubdor. Again, I want to pull both those armies back towards Finland and have them cross here so I can get three, ar three armies down into Europe. So we take Courland, one will then take Vilnius, the other one will take Prussia, or East Prussia, to say, and then Poland, and that will secure this clump here. And obviously leapfrogging and securing as we go, replenishing for as long as needed. But as we come this way, we'll pop in here and take Lombardy and Savoy and keep pushing and pushing along the top. Keep pushing this way down through Spain. Once we've done Spain, we come back across to Tunis. Once we have Tunisia and Algeria under our belt, there's a port here. So we could literally sail from there to there, take that. We would also, at that point, consider taking Naples. And I would wait until I land the army, but land an army there and declare war on the Knights of St. John in Malta in the same turn so that then that becomes ours because we need that for a victory objective and obviously keep pushing through Tripoli and eventually because I need Cairo so I'm going to have to turn on them but that's fine because I'm allied with Russia so once the Ottomans turn I can probably take push up this coast We'll come back down depending how it goes. I might have to leapfrog my way up through Italy because, like, the Italian states and Venice might both go to war with me. And we'll just from there, once we have Egypt, I'll have two armies push this way with the Russians, hopefully. And start pushing into India from that direction if I can't by that point. I've had an army sail around to India and two armies to take Cylon and two armies over into Africa, uh, not Africa, America, where they are probably going to take Newfoundland first. Because I obviously all the provinces I need are down this coast of France. Well, bleh, down this coast of France. Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Down this coast of the Americas. Put my teeth in, sorry. I think these are somebody else's. And these two here. As long as this is held by France, or even rebels, it makes sense to secure that 
come across and start pushing this way. So obviously New York at the moment is still held by Sweden, but again, I have a feeling that Sweden will crumble in the next couple of end turns because Finland and Denmark have already rebelled, leaving just Albany and the other, the other one that they've taken off the Russians. Again, when I take these two, it might, you know, I've got to deal with the Iroquois. There's a couple of French-owned territories over here, a couple of Spanish here. I need to come back and take, obviously, the Bahamas and put Jamaica back. I need to take the Leeward Islands and the Windward Islands, I believe. Again, clearing up the pirates will be a major thing, so could even start down here. Two armies, one, two, one goes up this way, clearing the islands. One comes this way, New Andalusia, Caraco, and then sail them round to say here, where they can then run across and then run up through here, yeah, but at which point I can recruit another army and start pushing north against the Cherokee and whatever's left of the French, etc. It's a long game now. <clears throat> We're just coming up on the halfway point. Um, when that is 1750-ish, that's the halfway. But things are turning more and more in our favour because we are gaining more and more income because our economy has improved but also we're now taking land again a couple of French troops moving there obviously we need to, I can't do much about sailing around too much because the French are in force in their naval power they do actually have more navy than me Uh, Poland and Lithuania want a military alliance and they offer military access for five turns. We will accept. Oh, crikey, they've. Oh no, but they've lost a lot more than they had. But still, they don't have a lot left around here. You need to have to be quick about building up that. Um, wait. Ah, what are the Swedes doing? Not fleet, army, sorry. Don't mind the Russians moving in because it will help. Because I think I'm trying a good Protestant missionary in Norway, working on strike in Sweden. The electrical condenser. Metalled roads. Your lordship. You want to head towards Vilnius, please? Yes. Keeping vigil. Ready for battle. Demand their surrender. Okay, we will Set continue the siege. siege. Winter's March is going to cut them short on that line, so it will take actually three turns to get there. But your way around there. I must it's going to take a while for the bankruptcy stuff to drop off on Sweden, but it will eventually dissipate enough that it will no longer 
strong effect them. Let's grab these troops. How it's a grenadier is a grenadier. One, two, three, four units of line infantry. So I just need two more line infantry. Wait a minute. Obviously, if France take Denmark, I'm going to need to leave an army, or in, well, it's pay attention at least put a de half decent navy in that crossing in the port of Malmo to stop the French crossing by the travel points. Okay, so they are now attacking me, which is fine. We outnumber them. Apparently they've got a good chance of winning this according to the auto resolve. And the balance of power. But they've got two units of light cav, a unit of dragoons, two fire locks, are they not gonna do much against British forces? One howitzer, two militia, which are only slightly better than the firelock, the armed, the armed citizenry. So, and their unit of line infantry is at half strength. Well, that means they're losing. I would say it's well, no, it's because they're a rebel force and they've attacked this place to take it. to fall back to between these two rock formate rock rock um, outcrops can't speak today sorry about that Jim well I'd say gents guys and gals however you want to identify yourself artillery in the middle
crossbow. These in so nope. For your own group. Oh yeah, they were okay. It's my fault. I thought they'd grouped in with all of the other ones. General there. Light cab over here, they're gonna run into that woodland straight away. Hidden, what about now? Ah, that's why there's a little rock outcropping there, okay. Is now firing. They're now in artillery range. This could be quite devastating. Explosive shell against cavalry if that gets just above or. Not close enough. Killed two with that first volley. That killed a lot more. Forwards a bit quicker. Dragoons aren't the general, it's this unit of cavalry on this flank. Okay. Skimming shots now, trying to make them count, but. Depends if we're aiming for the cavalry or. Let's check the range on canister, that's about here, okay. to engage this part of my line at the moment. Let's bring my heavy cavalry to this fence. in range for a canister blast. Ooh, that was a good one. Load canister. So 
their dragoons just come in. No, it's their other unit. It's their general's unit, correct? You engage them. You can engage them. No? Target them as well then. Run them out. As you can counter charge those dragoons with what's left of you. Because you've already been caught up by them. round shot my really bad cavalry commanding skills coming through here trash the cannon troops you go after them. Completely remove that gun crew. Rotate this unit round. Okay, so the gun crew's gone. You can go after that unit. You can go chase them down. Okay, so the Limbers actually got destroyed on all of them, and we lost a few cabin crew members, not bad. Pulled them off. See so what's left of their general, he is starting to break. Run. Yeah, 
infantry, wait for it. Fire. the battle there because take the heroic victory um i think some of their units would have survived so i'd have to either whittle down the settlement completely or see exactly what they lost there's 48 of them left at your service you were heading here Taking cover. I'm already pushing on Vilnius, so you can make your way towards there. Good. Cannon, I've got two of them there, another two there, so that's three, six, one, two, and uh, I've got to wait a turn until I can put that recruitment in, okay. I wish they'd get out of the port, but... Can't force them, well I can, I don't have the navy to damage them, even not with the French bearing down there either. What have these guys actually got left in that army? Not a lot. <laughs> Five turns till we've got eyes on Vilnius. Hiding. How are we getting on with Russia? Uh, Allies of Poland, Lithuania, and Denmark. Would you take us on some alliance then? No, yes, you would. Good. Denmark. Would you want trade? No. How about an alliance? No, that's why, because it's trading with France, so. Really, Italian states did not realize you were at war with France. Take one more in turn and see where we end up. Sweden hanging on for dear life by a thread. 
although I've said that before about France, and it came back to bite me in the arse that Sweden is literally down to two territories across the globe. They're hemorrhaging money because of their navy. There's no way they can keep up with what's going on. France and Spain are the next biggest threat. We're allied with the two Eastern European powers. So it's only a matter of time until they start to fall. To find out on the turn of the rebels. Or if the US have arisen. Trade route raided, that's the French. United States have arisen again. And there goes Sweden, like I said it would in a couple of turns. Fishing fleet has been built, public servant dies, public servant dies, recruitment report complete, load them up, that will be ready the next turn, where is that French naval unit? Not round here. Should I make? Yes, I could, right. Head for the port, we can put in there next turn. I'm going to upgrade this fishery again. Another turn to get there. Pulling back will be a piece of well, really easy because we'll just come back, cross the border, and pick up the main road as fast as we can. Which from here, it might be quicker to come down and round, especially since I'll be upgrading the roads and stuff here quite rapidly. I don't think I have the technology to upgrade that yet, but if I did, I would. French trade route. there probably. But I hope the French don't push on these southern ones. Like um over here or Transylvania. In fact I believe they've pushed back. They have, because Bavaria was French a little while ago, so the Poles are pu pushing back. My army will be, how long is it going to take me to march there? A while. So I might be sitting there a turn before I go this way, but that's fine. <clears throat> but that's all I have time for for today, and I will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>